Hello, my name is Kim Atina. This screencast will go over some tips and tricks of using the response tab in Google Forms. So first you need to create a Google Form in your Google Drive. And once you do that, you'll come to this screen here. So you can actually, right now I have a question in here, what is the capital of New York? Um, you can add another question if you would like. Um, let's just say what is the capital of New Jersey. Okay, and uh, I wanna go over the response tab. So in the response tab here, you have a few features that I'd like to, to mention. First, anytime you create a Google form, I always recommend that you create a response sheet that goes with that form. So in order to do that, you just click on this green icon here, and this is going to create a, a new Google Sheet that is linked to the Google Form. And it takes the name of the form and it just adds the word responses to it. So I do wanna create a new Google Sheet named Demo Responses. I also have the option to select the response sheet in an already existing spreadsheet. So what I recommend is that I always create a new sheet for each form that I create. So I'm going to leave the default as create a new sheet. I hit the create button. It automatically opens up a new tab. It shows me all of the responses in the response sheet that is coordinated with the Google form. Okay, so that's one thing that I wanted to show you. And you can see here that each question is going to be a header. So I can always manipulate this, um, this worksheet here. I can highlight it, I can bold, I can text wrap it. All right, and each question is going to be the header. And then you'll see all of your responses on, in rows underneath. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you. Another thing that I wanted to show you is sometimes you need to unlink the spreadsheet to the form because there could be a discrepancy or maybe you just don't want that spreadsheet linked to the form anymore. So you click on the snowman menu here and you get this all of these menu options. You can simply click unlink form and you're gonna get this message to unlink the spreadsheet with the form. You can click unlink. And now that spreadsheet is, is not linked to this form. So if someone else fills out the form, the responses will not go into the spreadsheet. If I wanted to reinitialize the connection, I click on the snowman menu, I, collect, I, select, I select the option that says select response destination. All right, and I can hit select existing sheet. I hit select, and it's gonna allow me to browse my spreadsheets. So at this point here, I can find my spreadsheet because it was already created. Hit select, and now that spreadsheet is linked to my form. So that's one another tip. The last tip that I wanted to show you is that you can turn off the feature here to accept responses. So for example, if you had a quiz and you only wanted the quiz to be active for a day, when the day was over, you can turn off the quiz so that students cannot access it anymore. So you could you would just come over here, click on that that slider button, and the quiz is automatically turned off. The form is not active, and no one can access that form anymore. If you want to re-enable it, you simply click the slider button, and now the form is active. So you can use this handy little feature when you want your quiz locked down um, for, for students. I hope you found this screencast helpful.